Hi, my name is Rob Stocklosa. I'm an application engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I wanted to discuss a brief overview, a very high level overview, of how to interface your SOLIDWORKS electrical with our EPDM professional application. You see on the screen we have a SQL database to the left with some familiar file extensions to the right. XML, EWG, which is our electrical drawings, database, and then 3D assembly files. Both of these are mimicked in our, our uh, EPDM or PDM professional and electrical uh, pr applications, which are driven from our SQL database. So I wanted to discuss the similarities between the two. You'll notice here we have five bubbles, and each bubble contains a function or a component that's required for data management. The bubbles that are interfacing with the main SQL bubble are the only area where things overlap, if you will version control, security, you'll see those are kind of outside. So the moral story here is in SQL or in EPDM, security and version control are handled. However, in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, they are not. The only things that we overlap in is the information, mainly collaboration and our file references. This inherently has some limitations that we will discuss. Of course, in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, our output's slightly different than what we're used to in the mechanical world. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical, we have all our 2D schematics, which could be one page, 10 pages, or 50 pages. Our reports, sometimes we have our 3D assemblies, and the archive information. So the outputs required for electrical are slightly different than the data we've been handling to this point. In the SOLIDWORKS application, we do have a link to EPDM. I just want to briefly give you some of the settings. Uh, this dialog is simply where we point to our 3D data if we're using the 3D application. And this link or this button actually ties you into your PDM database. Uh, you're going to notice some options in here. Uh, again, this is a high level. Uh, we have some tabs for how to handle these reports and the data we just spoke of. Um, but I do want to Illustrator mentioned to you that the subfolder for the electrical projects, you'll notice there it's at the top level. Uh, that is a requirement. Uh, you can't uh, get subfolders uh, to put your electrical data in, and uh, that is something to consider moving forward. So, <clears throat> although there are some limitations, um, I do want you to be aware that the functions uh, do exist. Um, we do need to discuss the workflow with your company and figure out how we can best implement this. Um, it's not something you want to dive into. Uh, we definitely take some planning, uh, understanding limitations and the capabilities. I hope this uh, gives you some information you were looking for. Again, I'm Rob Stocklose with TPM. Have a great day.